the Ottoman artists and painters between the 15th and 18th centuries, reaching its climax in the 16th century, is defined as the classical period and are true examples of brilliant achievements in Turkish decorative arts, reflecting superb craftsmanship and aesthetic values. By the end of the 18th century, however, classical works ceased to exist. The empire and its art reflected a turn to the Western world with the flood of European influence. Baroque, empire, and Rococo styles were to combine with native art forms to produce a hybrid style known as Turkish Rococo, which undoubtedly introduced new forms and techniques to Turkish art. However, by the middle of the 19th century, it degenerated into vulgar excess. The 19th century marked a major decline in the practice of decorative arts, mainly owing to the lack of royal patronage which had been essential for the continuity of the Nakashani and its artists. A revival of Turkish traditional arts started in the first quarter of the 20th century. School of calligraphers called Medresetül Hattatin, which opened in 1915, played an important role for the teachings of illumination, calligraphy, marbling, and other branches. Turkish art instructions, which continued later on in universities throughout the nation and in private workshops, are still being attended by a great number of students interested in learning and mastering Turkish arts and crafts.